So I don't know if you guys have looked at the TV like acronym dictionary, but there are so many Q's and ED's in there. It is hard to differentiate what any of that technology means or what it can do. But for a while, really the one that mattered, the flagship that really everything else was compared to uh, was OLED. And we had LED TVs were awesome. They were bright. They didn't get to the black levels of OLED. But OLED TVs had the black levels, but didn't have the brightness. And you kind of had to figure out where was the priority for you. Enter this. So this is using LG's mini LED technology. It's actually their QNED line. And supposedly, it's like the magical unicorn TV. Gonna give you close to the blackness that you get with OLED uh, with the brightness of LED. But is it true? Let's find out together. All right, so before I get into picture quality and the rest of the LG QNED mini LED 90s features, I think it makes sense to like, just like talk about what QNED, what it actually is. Cause again, the acronym jumble with TVs can get very confusing. So QNED is quantum dot combined with nanocell color technology with a mini LED backlight. So that mini LED tech is what's narrowing that gap like crazy in picture quality uh, to OLED sets. So it is still a backlit display, like traditional LEDs, except it takes the hundreds of LEDs and shrinks them down. And this allows for sort of full array dimming pro, which helps create really higher contrast, deeper blacks, all while maintaining pretty high color accuracy, vibrancy, and brightness. So those diodes in the backlight cannot turn all the way off like an OLED can to produce those really deep blacks, because you know, they're off. Uh, mini LED does promise to do a really good job, kind of tricking your brain and thinking it can produce those true blacks. And these sets are much brighter than traditional OLED sets. And when you put a very bright part of an image next to a very dark gray image on the screen, your eyes are going to interpret that dark gray as black. Keep in mind that LG makes not just panels for their own TVs, uh, but also for a lot of other major TV brands as well. So no matter which TV you decide to own, there's a good chance LG was involved in some sort of process with it. So all that aside, let's dive in and see what LG can do when they try to push sort of their best foot forward with their own tech. Okay, so the TV here, it's the LG QNED Mini LED 90 series, and we've got it, you can see my smile, uh, in the 75 inch size. Uh, they've got other sizes too, I'll put links to them in the description down below for updated pricing, uh, depending on when you're watching this. So the design, at least the TV itself, uh, I think it looks great, despite sort of the backlit panel being there, uh, it's still pretty thin. Now it's not like, paper thin, like you get with OLED, obviously, but you could easily mount this on a wall. I don't think you'd notice it sort of sticking out uh, a little bit. If you do want to mount it on a stand, like we have it here, uh, it does come with feet, but the feet themselves are pretty wide, so you may want to measure that before you try to put it on a really narrow stand. Design aside, the picture quality on the set was generally pretty surprising. And if you think it looks bright now, uh, this is actually 30% brightness. And while we were filming, it turned on at 50% brightness by default, uh, and it caused issues with our camera. So we had to turn it down. So I don't know if it's gonna translate to what you guys see, but this bright thing behind me gets 70% brighter than this. I don't know if the, what that scale looks like of brightness, if it's true 70% brighter than this, but this is nuts bright. And we turn it all the way up, it completely washed out uh, on our camera. Insanely bright. And because of that brightness, the black levels almost seem perfectly black at first glance. Now, if you're looking really closely at an all black scene, I think you can tell those blacks are just really dark versions of gray but it is not that often, and you've gotta be looking really close at it. If you have high contrast an image on screen, it is really hard for me to not think I am looking at an OLED display, especially if I don't have this side by side with an actual OLED display. So one of the knocks on traditional LED sets is that the further you sit off to the side of the TV, the picture can tend to look a little washed out. But with QNED, it's really not that big of an issue anymore. Now the best spot, there's still a sweet spot very clearly, uh, in front of the set. 
But if you've got friends or family and they're sitting you know, on a big couch watching something, they're still going to get a really good picture. And that's a big reason where this brightness matters. It's not just sort of sitting directly in front of the set, it's everybody else around you uh, who's going to be watching this. Uh, it's also helpful to reduce reflections in super bright rooms. I wouldn't always remove them completely, um, but when there are reflections, and you have this brightness kicked up, you're going to barely notice them. So you're getting a really vibrant image out of the set, and that's probably due to the Quantum Dot NanoCell color tech. But the other part is the Alpha 7 Gen 4 AI processor 4K, which is a mouthful. That's a chip the LG QNIN uses to intelligently analyze each scene, adjust the color and vibrancy, and brightness in the image to produce at least what LG thinks is the best version uh, of that picture. And when, when you are sitting back on your couch or your favorite chair watching something, this is going to look like the top of the top end of TV displays, which is incredible. So for most things I watched, it did an amazing job and went a really long way in helping create sort of that feeling that I got from an OLED. There's also different modes that lets you watch content in the way that you want to, like filmmaker mode, where it'll turn down things like motion smoothing and adjust the color so you can watch a movie or a show in the way the director intended it to be watched. Uh, this set also has things like Dolby Vision IQ, Dolby Atmos to be able to watch movies that support it. And again, the blacks to my eyes looked pretty close to OLED level blacks. You have to get up really close to sort of see that they are not actually sort of just pixels turned off. All in all, it's really impressive. Okay, so picture quality is not the only reason to pick this TV up. Uh, another big one you might want to consider it for uh, is gaming. So the huge win here is for its four HDMI ports on the back. Two of them are HDMI 2.1 port, which supports 4K 120 Hertz, and then one of which is eARC. So that point one, you might not think about it, but it does a lot. Uh, but the main thing though, is that it allows for your game to be shown up to 120 frames. And if you're Lucky enough to be able to find a next-gen console, you know, PS5, uh, Series X. Uh, the LG QNED it will display everything these consoles are currently capable of. So it also has Game Optimizer, and it supports FreeSync and VRR. It helps you dial in settings so you can get sort of ultra-low latency and reduce things that, you know, drag games down, like stuttering and tearing when playing. Uh, I didn't feel any lag at all with the input and overall made for one of the best gaming experiences that I've had on any TV or display. You can also connect a soundbar using that ER 2.1 port, uh, but if you had all three, a soundbar, a PS5, and a Series X, you'd have to swap HDMI ports back and forth between consoles, which I think is a little disappointing. But if you don't have a ton of HDMI 2.1 enabled devices to plug in, which most of us don't, uh, you'll have four HDMI ports on the back, which is you know more than enough for most people. Also, something else to keep in mind, uh, that a soundbar is probably not that necessary for this TV. So the AI that's being used to augment the picture uh, is also being used to augment the audio as well, which is probably a reason that it sounds pretty good coming out of the TV. Uh, it's much louder and more clear than I typically hear from sort of other sets with their built-in speakers. But if you want to pull everything out of this TV, then yeah, you're going to want to go for a sound bar or a sound system, especially if you're going to watch a lot of Dolby enabled shows or movies. But if you just want to plug this in and watch and listen, you get pretty good audio. So if you're not going to use a universal remote or sort of bring your own remote here, uh, the way you'll interact with the LG itself is an updated version of the Magic Remote that LG's kind of had around for a while. It's got that scroll wheel in the middle and you kind of wave it around and you get a cursor on the screen. Uh, they've added a bunch of buttons on the bottom this time. Uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus are all there. LG Channels also is there as well. There's support for voice too if you want to use it um, for both Google and Amazon assistants. So powering this guy is uh, WebOS, which is probably one of my favorite TV interfaces out there. Everything's laid out really nicely, easy to navigate. Support for AirPlay 2 and the Apple TV app is a giant plus in my book, and it is there and available. Plus, it's got this cool feature for sports nerds like me. It actually set alerts for games going on or when they're coming up. So if you're watching a show or just another game, score alerts will pop up in the corner, keeping you updated, which as a Again, sports fan, something I appreciate. It. 
This TV does a lot of really good things. Uh, and I kind of set out to compare it to my opinion of OLED. And OLED does a lot of things incredibly well. But it's still, in its best form, has some shortcomings, especially if you're setting it up in a really bright environment. So this, the LG QNED, I think might be sort of the perfect unicorn set. You are getting close to the darkness levels, the black levels of an OLED, with just nuts brightness and the benefits of LED. And I really think if you see the set on its own, you'll be hard pressed to sort of spot the difference between this and the best OLED set out there. If you wanna get a set that's going to do everything well, whether it's watching movies, play games, you owe it yourself to check out uh, LG's QNED TV. And if you wanna do that again, best place, we'll put links down below.